Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So this will be a quick read today on Cyrus Vance, District Attorney for New York County, New York. So what's happened is the U.S. Supreme Court has okayed release of the Trump Corporation's tax returns to the Manhattan District Attorney and Grand Jurors. In question are the gimmicks used to inflate property values for loans while deflating the same property values for reporting of income taxes. The cards I'm going to use are the Harmonious Tarot by Walter Crane and Ernest Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. They're beautiful cards. I purchased these in Hungary at the Matthias Church, uh, which is at the palace complex of the Hungarian kings in Budapest. Some of the beautiful church's history is that when Matthias Corvinus in 1458 ascended the Hungarian throne, the holy crown of Hungary was not in Hungary. Therefore, when Matthias returned from captivity from the Czechoslovakian city of Prague, he solemnly began his reign uh, at the then named Church of Mary and eventually was named as uh, Matthias's church. He thanked God, Mary, and then before the altar promised to keep the sacred rites. Finally, at his palace, he took his throne and began to deal with the affairs of the country. The church is known by several names. It's called uh, the Church of the Assumption of the Buddha Castle, uh, or more commonly, Matthias's Church, and uh, rarely, more rarely, as the Coronation Church of Buddha. It's a Roman Catholic church, as I said, located at Holy Trinity Square, which is in the heart of the Buddha Castle district, and it was originally built in 1015 in the Romanesque style. It is just unbelievably beautiful inside and out. There was a miracle in this church. The miracle was known as the Mary Wonder. And here, as the story goes, in 1686, uh, during the siege of Buddha City by the Holy League, which was an alliance of European, na European nations formed during the Great Turkish War, the League's, the League's cannons blasted a wall of the church, which of course collapsed. But hidden behind the fallen wall was an old Madonna statue votive. So as the wall fell, the sculpture of the Virgin Mary appeared and the morale of the Muslim garrison collapsed and the city fell on the same day. So let's go ahead and have the reading for Cy Vance, Manhattan Prosecutor. So these are the cards that I'll use for this, um, this draw today. Uh, first it'll be the Harmonious Tarot, which are the cards I just talked about. And if we need clarification, I'll use the Golden Tarot by Cat Black, an Australian uh, artist. This uh, deck, like I said, we happened to be there and uh, wanted to go in and see this amazing church. And I was just so surprised to see that just outside the church was a little um, um, kiosk uh, selling all sorts of memorabilia for the church, uh, holy trinkets, that sort of thing. But they had tarot cards, and I thought, wow, is that even appropriate to have tarot cards you know, at a church? And uh, now, of course, I realize it's perfectly appropriate. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, they're really uh, amazing cards. I'll show them to you before I get started here. And uh, the depictions on these remind me of art by uh, Alphonse Mucha, which um, you find uh, in Prague. But you can see that they're really, really detailed, and uh, they have a an elegant uh, bearing to them. You know, they're not um, they're not a card that you would shy away from. They're cards that just seem really really lovely to work with and I've had them for a long time as a matter of fact I purchased another deck online which I gave to my uh, to a family member and uh, because it's useful the instructions in these cards are often in several different languages in these little booklets that come here so you'll have uh, a few pages in the front which is in English and then all several different languages following and so that was helpful to my family member since she doesn't speak very fluent English couple more shuffles we'll do a cut shuffle and then we'll do the Celtic cross so that's two more shuffles I'm gonna cut the cards we'll do a couple more shuffles Cy Vance Cy Vance prosecutor 
how is this going to play out for you? Are you going to be successful in uh, nailing something on uh, this uh, number 45? I think you will. The cards will tell. So we'll take six cards and then uh, another four at the end. And uh, this says right here that I need this one. And this one right here is calling to me. Three, four, five, six. I'll put these to the side because we're going to need them again in a moment. And find my trusty uh, pointer, which has turned out to be really useful. Cy Vance. This first card will be your signifier card. And this first card is the Three of Wands. You know, the, the wands are uh, action, uh, fire, uh, getting something moving, and the Three of Wands uh, speaks to us of uh, a plan, a long-term plan. You can see this this maiden, this milk maiden, is really looking off into the, into the horizon, into the future, to determine what her plan is going to be. That's the signifier. The challenge to that signifier is the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is particularly uh, thoughtful. You know, Pentacles talk about, uh, it can be money, it can be value, um, it can be knowledge even, but this Queen of Pentacles is very um, thoughtful, it looks like, about the, um, the wealth of her, her knowledge here. And uh, so that's gonna be the challenge. So the Queen of Pentacles is challenging this plan. So this this queen who really is is in control of what she's got here is the challenge to the three of wands. And I'm going to say this queen then has to represent the uh, Trump Corporation because they had some really wise people uh, manipulating his his uh, his values. The base of this reading now is going to be the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, while the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, dealing with her, her worth. The Queen of Wands is looking at the actions. And so in the past here, we're going to say Cy Vance was uh, in control of his actions in a big way. I mean, look at the size of this wand that this Queen has, has uh, reign over. So I'll say in the past here that Cy Vance was in big control of his actions. Uh, in the base of the reading, rather. In the, in the recent past, we have the... Um, Two of Cups, and the, the Two of Cups are, are partnerships, or plans uh, together with someone else. And so certainly in this endeavor regarding uh, 45's taxes, uh, there's going to be a lot of partnering to get this done. And um, we can see that these cups are, are up in the air, but at the same time, these two are, are f fast together in their, um, in their plan. The Sky. The sky for this reading about Cyrus Vance is the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles talks to us about kind of being out in the cold and unprotected. And uh, the Pentacles are, are up here uh, where they would give you some, some protection. But this poor maiden, she's really in a gale and doesn't seem to have the benefit of all these Five of Pentacles up in the sky. And so for this card to be in the sky... It's pretty appropriate right now, I would say. In the likely outcome, and this is a, a big overall picture of what's going to happen, so this is in a, an, an outcome for this, we have the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords, as a, swords are truth, could be law, uh, something of value, but the Two of Swords tells us that we have to make a choice. You know, which way are we going to go? And uh, these maidens are looking in opposite directions, not quite sure, it looks like, where they'll be headed. Although, if you look at their feet, they have sort of uh, predetermined that they're going to make a move. And so, in what direction are they going to make a move? And you know, the two key points of this investigation regarding these uh, taxes that have been released to the uh, grand jurors is um, uh, having to do with property values, both for loans and then property values for paying your taxes. So, which way are we going to go on that? Now, in the self, in the right now, of the situation. Cy Vance is represented by the Wheel of Fortune. Completely appropriate because the Wheel of Fortune tells us that, that fortunes are getting are getting ready to turn and uh, some choices are going to be made. And uh, so this Wheel of Fortune, just like we're talking about which way are we going to go, this Wheel of Fortune is telling us that we are 
going to start to move in a certain direction. But there's a, an environment that that Wheel of Fortune is in, and that environment is in the Seven of Cups, illusion and delusion, or having a multitude of, of tools at your disposal to use. And we can see that this, this woman is a little coy, and uh, this suitor is, is showing her herself in the mirror. So, you know, she realizes that she's being watched very carefully. You know, she can see how she appears in this situation. And so she's going to have to be very deft at drawing down what she needs to conquer this, this lover right here. He's very comfortable in his, in his uh, stance that he's, he's keeping a watch on her that she can't uh, turn away from. But we're going to have to hope that Cy Vance is just as deft at, uh, at using his tools to overcome that lover. <laughs> and then the uh, hopes and the fears for this is the Six of Pentacles. Now this Six of Pentacles speaks to uh, you know having a lot uh, to deal with up here. And I just have to take a minute to look a little bit closer at these, at these two women. They haven't quite decided um, how uh, this is going to work for them. So this Six of Pentacles is studying the, um, the security of their value. It's the hopes and the fears to use that in the best way possible. But the final outcome for this reading is the Five of Swords. And of course that's the, the outcome for this reading. The Five of Swords speaks to uh, abuse of power. And that's exactly what this whole thing has been about. A huge corporation's abuse of their power. And we can see that someone has, is deftly trying to slip over the, the banister, slip over the rail with their Five of Swords while someone else sits here you know, in want. So that's the read. So I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I really appreciate that you've come by and took some time to uh, take a look at what I have to offer. And I hope you'll come back again. I'll be right here waiting for you. So ciao for now.